Hopefully everyone's doing well. Welcome back. Uh, we are in the packing room today uh, with a little bit of a different video. Now, about a week ago, I was in the Discord channel. Shout out to the Discord. If you're not in the Discord already, link is in the description. Get yourself in there. Uh, it's going to help you out a lot with reselling if you ever have any questions. Always people in there to give you answers and help you out and just have a general chit chat and socialize because you know this job isn't exactly the most social of jobs sometimes so it's nice to be in there anyway back to the video the other day i was in the discord server and everyone was talking about how much they had in back stock uh death pile whatever you want to call it and uh, i said well i don't have a death pile so if we ever go back into lockdown again uh, i'm a little bit screwed because i have nothing to list over that time uh and joe if you don't know who joe is closet geek decided to send me a box i didn't ask for this i didn't pay for this he sent me this completely free i think i think he's had like a massive amount come in recently uh to his warehouse and uh, he decided to send me a box so in today's video we're gonna unbox this and see what he sent me um obviously i have no idea what's in here it's still sealed i have taken the label off the side so the address is gone but other than that this is completely still sealed so i'm going to open this and have a look inside i know he did say that he might have sent some pottery or some breakable stuff so we'll see if uh, it all made it here in uh, one piece but if not that's okay uh, it was free anyway so it doesn't really matter but thank you to joe link to his channel is in the description if you want to go check him out if you've not already go subscribe to him he's awesome like i said he's also in the discord so if you want to chat to him come in there and have a look right i'm going to place you down here um a little bit of a sketchy um uh, wobbly platform but i have my ps2 box which is now listed um this is basically a brand new console the box is a little bit tattered uh, if you remember watching the uh, pickup of that a while back and on top we have a boulder dash which still has its price tag on uh, so i'm going to set you up here and uh, i do need to check that you can actually see what's going on so bear with me without further ado can you see me? We can open this box and have a look and see what's inside, shall we? So, I have taken some tape off it already, so I'm wondering. Made it easier to open on video. Dropping the scissors, we're all good. Right, let's uh, let's start, shall we? So, uh, box is open. It's full right to the top, guys. Okay, so first up we have, I don't know how well you can see that, I presume you can see that, this is a Nintendo DS utility case, Nintendo DSi actually. Someone was obviously trying to sell it for a pound fifty at some point, uh, but it does look brand new, it's still sealed in its box, although it's a little bit grubby, but that should still sell, I guess, as a new item. Uh, maybe I'll list that as like new. I don't know. Uh, let's scan this one actually because it's it, because it is new. I can scan this and have a look. I presume it's not worth much. Maybe about four pounds, something like that. Uh, let's see how good I am at predicting items prices. Scan this in. Have a look. No matches found. Okay, fantastic. Good start. No exact matches. Okay. But it does look... Oh, it's a Power A. I thought it was a Nintendo. It is Power A, so it's not a uh, official Nintendo uh, licensed product. But there we go. Good start. Okie dokie. What else do we have in here? We have a Star Wars Top Trumps. Looks complete. That's pound fifty, two pound. We have a... Is this like a wristband? We have like a wristband teddy. Is that children in need? Is that Pudsy? Is that his name, Pudsy Bear? The uh, one from Children and Children in Need? I think so. It's been ages since I've watched that. Um, right, what else do we have? We have another kind of backpack case here. This is a Lisa Simpson. I guess this is for some sort of uh, console. It is Simpson branding, so I guess this is official. 
and there is a screen wiper in there that's kind of disgusting um i might throw that out to be honest uh, the little wiper not the bag um it looks a little bit dirty but yes i presume this is for some sort of console nintendo something along them lines it has a protector uh, a screen wiper in there so makes sense there's a cable hole here for your headphones and uh, a single strap so this is kind of like a shoulder bag kind of deal it is however a little bit grubby so i could probably throw that in the washing machine uh, and that will come out looking nice um probably a couple quid something like that um i might keep that for like car boot or something maybe because I will be doing lots of car boots in the new year because I have lots of stock that needs to be sold uh, to get rid of it. Right, we have an action figure here. We have an Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark figure. It looks like it's in really nice condition, actually. And I have no idea who makes it because it's inside a bag. I'm not going to open it just now, but can you see that one? Indiana Jones there. He Does he have, yeah, he has posable limbs. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so we have something a little bit more dangerous now. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on video. It's a knife. It is a knife. Joe, why have you sent me this? I hope that's not a murder weapon, Joe. Okay. Moving swiftly on. We have a couple of toys here. have like a Star Wars Darth Vader I don't know if this is like a transformer this can't be official right like surely transformers didn't make a Darth Vader version <laughs> that's gotta be like some sort of knockoff um, we have another Star Wars toy here it looks also like a transformer oh my god is that Chewbacca <laughs> Oh my god, that's like a Transformer Chewy. I don't know how this works. I'm terrible at Transformers. Look at that. Transformer Chewy. Does he transform into the Millennium Falcon? I think he does, yeah. I think Chewy transforms here into the Millennium Falcon, guys. I would do it, but I have no idea how this works, to be honest. Right, moving on. Another Star Wars item. Star Wars, some sort of, is this like a speaker or a light or something? What does it say on the back? Nothing. 2015 Hasbro Lucasfilm. So it is, this is a genuine Star Wars item and I have no idea what it is. I think it might be a... I thought it was a speaker, but there's no, like, speaker on it, if that makes sense. Uh, it does have these cables, so it does plug into some sort of, like, TV or something. Uh, if anyone has an idea of what this is, please let me know. Because I am at a loss. I have no idea what that is. I'm looking forward to the pottery, to be honest, because I love knickknacks and stuff like that even if it's not really worth anything to be honest guys i'm not looking at this box as like profit um and i don't think joe sent me this box you know to make masses of money on so if you're looking at this thinking oh you're not gonna make any money on it well i might not uh but to be honest this is fun i like this, this is fun it's like christmas for free uh, so thank you, Joe. I do appreciate it. It's fun to open this. Uh, hopefully you guys watching and enjoying it as well. So this is a Game Boy, uh, I guess, is this Advanced? Yeah, I think it says Game Boy Advanced. No, because was Game Boy Advanced the smaller one? Maybe it's just the original cartridge. Game Boy cartridge, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, this is a GEX or GEX. It's like some sort of gecko game. I have no idea. Probably not worth anything. But there we go. We've got a couple of bobbleheads by the looks of it. I have no idea what this is. Some sort of anime character. Anyone out there that watches anime, let me know what this is, because I have no idea. Actually, actually, I do know what this is, because that is the uh, the ball, the Goku ball, right, from Dragon Ball Z. 
Dragon Ball Z, right? This is some sort of Dragon Ball Z character, I think. Does it say on the back? Doesn't say. Right, this is some sort of bobblehead character. I have no idea who that is. Uh, and I know this is Iron Man. Right, we got a big one. We have a DJ Hero deck. Scratch the deck. <laughs> so this is for the Wii, because I think this is where the Wii controller goes. This plugs into the Wii right there. And then you do that to disconnect the pad from the deck. It's in pretty uh, dirty shape. I could probably clean this up, test if it works. I am not sure whether a DJ Hero deck is actually worth anything these days. I'll have to have a look. Um, I don't currently have a DJ Hero game, I don't think, but if this is worth anything accompanied by the game, I may keep this around, because I do see DJ Hero discs quite often. So, uh, yeah, scratch, scratch, scratch. I presume this is not worth much, maybe £5, I'm not sure. Uh, I would have to double check. I'm going to have to put that one over here, though, because it is rather much bigger. Right, we have now got into the, uh, as you can see, bubble wrap section so uh here we go i do hope that this is all intact um thank you jodo for the free bubble wrap i will be reusing this i appreciate it always comes in handy now if you've been watching my channel for a while like i said at the beginning you will know that i love uh, bric-a-brac knickknacks uh, little tiny bits, pottery, mugs, that kind of stuff. The random stuff that people would normally leave behind. I love to pick that up. Uh, because if you're weird enough to buy it, there is definitely someone out there weird enough to buy it off you again. Uh, and for more money, trust me. Um, so yeah, this is rather ghastly. Look at that. How awful. It's like cream and brown. It's not even painted very <laughs> well. I don't know what this is. It's made of something. Uh, there's nothing on the base. It is hollow. Um, she's holding a harp and he's holding a fiddle. The harp and the fiddlers. Okay, that sounded weird. Anyway, there we go. First bit of uh, whatever you want to call that. I'm going to put that down here for safekeeping. Right, what's next? Let's hope everything's not broken. Oh no. Oh no. We have a casualty. Casualty on aisle four. Okay, so this is actually... This is Crown Royal Bone China. Wow, okay. So this one has a little bit of a chip and a crack there. So maybe these were already cracked. That might be why this one's imploded. Ah, uh, the handle's gone on this one as well. That's a shame. And this last one is completely broken. So I am probably going to discard them three, unfortunately. Um, that would have been a nice uh, listing, actually. <sighs> oh, well. It happens. Let's hope nothing else is broken. Ah, uh, we have the matching set of plates. Oh no. These seem to have survived. Where did those scissors go? I've lost my scissors. We have the matching set of uh, tea plates. Although there's four of these and we only had three mugs, so... Maybe not. Bone China, Gainsborough, is that the same set? I can't hang on. Ah. Oh, yeah, it's definitely the same set, guys. That would have been pretty nice. Although, this is Crown Royal, I'm so confused. Hang on a minute. This is Crown Royal, and this is Gainsborough. But it's the same pattern. What? Oh, 
I'm so confused, guys. If anyone can explain that to me. Has one of these copied the other? Is that what this is? And someone bought them to match their set. Because they thought that they were the same. But in reality, it's just someone's copied the design. Hmm. Well, maybe we have the actual mugs to fit these ones in here. Number three. So, so far, these are all intact, which is nice. Oh, there's actually five of these. Never mind, I lied. I said there was four. I think I said there was four. Maybe I said five. I don't know. All right, there's number four. Oh, never mind. The last one's different. The last one's different make, and that's proper, like, off-center. That's weird. That's a PSA 1, if I've ever seen it. This is definitely a different set to the other one. But there we go. We have four of these. So I can list these. This will probably sell for maybe £10, £15, pounds, something like that. Just off the top of my head, I could be wrong. It may be worthless. It may be worth a bit more. Uh, but just off the top of my head, I, those four probably worth something like that. Right, what do we have next? We have something wooden. What in the world is this? What have you sent me, Joe? Whatever it is, it's been glued back together. Um... You know, this could be worth like $500 million or something, but I think I'm going to have to put this in the bin because I have no idea what this is. It has a little bit of damage and uh, I don't really want to deal with this, but thank you anyway. That one's not for me, unfortunately. Uh, we do, however, have a fan. Decorative one, probably not worth anything if if not a little tiny bit stuck together a little bit. Though. I dread to think why that's stuck together, but there we go. I would uh, demonstrate this in action, but I don't want to spread dust all around my room. Right, we still have a fair bit in here, so hopefully nothing else is broken. Oh, there's something wooden at the bottom again. What on earth is this? Oh. Oh, I know what this is. I actually like these, but I've never bought them before. I wonder if there's a cart in there as well. Okay, so this is the horse off of a, court, uh, a horse and cart um, set. Uh, they're very popular in certain communities kind of like the um the traveling community they do like to have their uh, horse and cart decorations in their house um they're not particularly worth much unless they're like a really popular one uh, so i'm not sure exactly what this would be worth but normally there would be like a fancy cart that's being pulled along by this um but this is really nice actually it's like gold gold and decorated i wonder if there's a cart in this box that's really nice, actually. Uh, what else do we have? Let's have a look. We have a hideous husband and wife. <laughs> That's so awful. <laughs> oh my god. Why would Ed okay, this is the question, right? I understand that this has been made at some point in history, but who would have bought this in the first place? That's the question. Like, who went into a shop and thought, that is amazing, I'm going to buy that. that? That's what always confuses me. But there we go. Alas, somebody bought it. And now I have it. Okay, this kind of looks like... Wearing like a maybe Chinese style farming hat. I could be wrong. Um, little basket here. At one point would have had something in his hand. There's a little hole there. Not sure what that is. It doesn't seem to be uh, accompanied in the package. 
We have this weird elephant. Uh, this is kind of like a christening toy or something like that, I would presume. I'm not really sure. Although it has holes in the back, so... If anyone knows what this is, let me know in the comments. I would presume this is like a christening or birth gift or something. Um, a lot of this stuff I have no idea what to do with. Uh, maybe I'll take it to a car boot sale or pass it on to somebody else. Oh, we have another one of these. So we now have two of them. I don't think they're worth anything, to be honest, but there we go. Uh, this little boy here. Again, no markings on this, so I have no idea how I'm going to work out what this is. Uh, I don't really know what this is made of, to be honest. Some form of... Um, Moulded stuff, it's been poured, you know, kind of like plaster of Paris or something. Uh, right, next up we have... Oh, we have a tankard, guys. Aha. Uh -huh. Very strange. No markings on this one. So again, I don't think this is anything uh, amazing. It's not like a proper good brand. There seems to be like a um, like a seam here, like it's kind of been made in two, but it doesn't follow down on either side and it's not on the inside either. So I don't know whether that's like a casting line uh, where this has actually been poured with a liquid uh, clay and that's like the seam that they just forgot to get rid of. I presume that's what that is because it's not a crack. Although... Yeah, no, it's not. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Maybe it is a crack, but it looks pretty cool, though. Kind of creepy. Hmm. Interesting stuff you're sending me here, Joe. Interesting stuff. Oh, we found a little bit of the handle. <laughs> Put that in the bin before I stand on it. Oh, another bit of uh, broken stuff in there. We have two more, two more or three more things. Oh, we have a uh, a bird. Don't ask me what bird. Again, this is uh, poured again. I don't really know what this stuff is. It's been glazed. What bird is that, guys? Let me know. It's blue and white. I have no idea. Oh... Ooh. 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 Okay, so we have we have a um I'm gonna say porcupine then it's not a porcupine, it's a hedgehog uh little tub here. Now this isn't the thing that I was going all at. Inside here we have some Sight of Wales walking stick mounts, but they're from Land Dudno. Um which is cool because uh my nan used to live there. I used to visit London, though, so it's cool to see stuff. Oh, they're from different places around, actually. This is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Time, time mouth, mate. Time mouth, maybe something like that. Um, the Wales one. Got some pins in here as well. To, or oh, actually, never mind. They're needles. I thought they were the pins to connect them to the, uh, the walking stick. I thought these were pins originally. That's why I was saying. Oh, but they're not. They're they go on your walking stick. Uh, Buckfast Abbey. Okay, okay. So we've got a couple of these. I thought they were pins, but they're not. But they're still pretty cool. Uh, you just tap them onto your walking stick, I presume. But yeah, that one's cool, because I used to visit Landudno. Uh, where else was it? It was um, Landudno. Uh... forgot the angle C and there was another place I used to go to um, I think it's land Dudna. Yeah, I could be wrong that has the train station that's like the longest uh, train station name ever and it ends like go 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 I could never pronounce that my nan used to be able to pronounce it land flare blah 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 go 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 and there's a shop next door called Pringles um, I have no idea what this is some sort of box, but it has a uh, bookmark in here. Ooh, 
Oh, there is actually a pin or clip or some sort in her. So that to me, hang on, see if we can work this out together. So that stick with the snake around it, as far as I'm aware, is something to do with like medical. Um, and then you've got the wings and on top you have the crown. So um, I would presume, knowing absolutely nothing about this symbol, that this probably is something to do with a royal medic. A royal medic or something like that. Um, and this is like a pin, like an old school, I don't know. Maybe this would go through a buttonhole and you would put this through. I'm not sure how all of their pins and stuff work, but I would have to look that one up. But to me, that's what that would be. Um, they use this a lot, actually. This is the symbol that they use in America on their uh, on their, um, ambulances and stuff. Uh, the, the staff or whatever it is with the snake around it. I don't know the actual name. Someone in the comments will, will let me know, I presume. Oh, we have the mug to go with those saucers. And they're in, they're intact. They are intact. So we have two of these. These are bone china. Second one. So they can go with those, uh, those sources and the box is now empty so we will move that out of the way Whew. okay so there we have it that is everything that was in the box from joe thank you very much joe for sending me that um that was very interesting and very fun to go through hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video um i appreciate it uh, this was my favorite thing to be honest this horse is pretty cool there is actually like a marking on her something craft i can't get to it because the uh the strap is around it but yeah if this was pulling a cart i would have been very happy unfortunately it's not but there we go lovely appreciate it joe thank you very much you've given me content for another video as well so that's always awesome um so i now have a few bits I, i'm gonna pick and choose what i'm gonna list out of this obviously not all of it is stuff i'm gonna list uh, some of it's broken it will go in the bin uh, some of it is not really what I would be listing, like a <laughs> like a bookmark. But I do appreciate it all uh, very much. And uh, so thank you to Joe. His link is in the description. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your Christmas. I don't know when this video is going live. So I'm just going to say now, enjoy your Christmas uh, and a happy new year. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.